In this video we are going to clean out all the leftover debris from our collapsed barn. We even found a secret room under the ruins. We are going to restore an old front loader and do some much needed maintenance on this old tractor. And much, much more. For those that are new here, my name is Eric. 10 years ago, me and my wife bought a rundown farm on the west side of Norway. This farm was left in a bad condition, but we are going to bit by bit take this farm back to its heydays and make this into a working farm and a home for us and our two children. You are watching Norwegian Farm Life. In this video we have exciting news. We have started our biggest project ever and the content in this package is a tool that we are going to need later. I'm going to drop hints during the video and if you haven't figured it out by the end, I'm going to reveal everything. I have made a deal with another farmer to buy a piece of equipment that hopefully will make a life a bit easier this summer. He will deliver it on his hangar and it's too heavy to lift off so we need to have a solution ready to unload it. I'm thinking about using this tractor digger but it has some issues. The hose is bent and that is constricting the hydraulic oil from reaching the pump and it's also cracked. We need to fix this. This will keep the holes from bending again. I've also added a valve so it will be easier to do maintenance on the pump. Our tractor gets a bit back heavy with the digger and so I want to mount the front loader. I just discovered that the diesel filter is leaking really badly. We will need to fix that later. I want to take this bucket of the front loader as it is really heavy and is always in the way when I drive the tractor.
It's a few days later, before I mount this, I want to fix it up a bit. I was planning on just giving the entire thing a coat of paint, but it would be way better to dismantle it and paint the individual parts. I'm planning on ordering some new seals for this cylinder as they sag a bit, so I'm going to loosen them up before I take them off. This is a tool for oil filters and it's too weak for this job. I will leave it for later when I have the proper tool. This loader is really fighting me. Everything is so rusty and stuck. These pins are completely stuck and I cannot reach them with my angle grinder. I have been battling this the entire day and I cannot get loose the pins for the cylinder. I'm going to paint the loader arm so at least it feels like I've done something today. Some of our chickens turned out to be roosters and we cannot keep them as they would fight each other.
It's a new day and the paint is dry. The pins from the cylinder, however, are just as stuck, so I need to abandon this project for now. We have work that is waiting for us in our barn. For those that have not seen our previous videos about this building, here is a quick recap. These ruins were once a beautiful building and the crown jewel of this farm. After years of neglect, the roof finally caved in due to the heavy slates, and so the previous owners decided with assistance from the fire department to burn the rest down to the ground. This was to avoid this being a dangerous playground for curious kids. We have over the years worked on removing the rubble to make this a safer place for our kids. Our dream has been to someday rebuild. This has been a project that we have been working on when we had the time, but now we are working against a deadline. Yesterday we found the leftovers after some stalls. It seems like they had cows in this barn.
Done, we found it. I thought I already uncovered all the secrets during the 10 years that we have owned these ruins, but apparently not. We had no idea that this room were hiding under all of this debris. It's a new day, so I'm going to take some time to fix the diesel leak on our tractor. It seems like I did something wrong when I changed the diesel filter last winter. The snow and the cold temperatures made this a difficult job, and I may have damaged an o-ring or something. In addition to that, I did not turn off the diesel fuel, so the conditions were not ideal. There's supposed to be a fuel valve here somewhere. I cannot find it, but this engine needs a good wash. Since I did not find a shutoff valve, I will use a different solution. This tool is for squeezing the soft brake lines on car when changing the brake calibers. Hopefully it will not damage the fuel lines. I did find a tear in the o-ring and it looks like it may have gotten damaged on these plates. I have in addition to the new fuel filter also bought a new kit of attachment screws with gaskets. I'm noticing now that the top bolt has an o-ring, the old one did not. Now we just need to bleed the injectors.
No leaks. This looks good. It is morning and the sun is shining, but in between all the summer idle there is also starting to appear signs of fall. I should really be getting back to the barn, but I want to have one more go at getting the cylinder off the front loader, so at least I can store them inside. I'm sure that these bolts are not threaded, as they have a hole for a locking pin. I've bought a big socket that will fit the hex head, so I can use my impact wrench. At least, I thought it would fit. This did not work, but I have another idea. This did not work either. The tip is bouncing around too much. I should definitely get back to the barn, but I also need to add some counterweights to the tractor. So I'm going to reattach the tray that we took off earlier. Before I put the tray back, I want to paint it with some anti-rust paint. While the paint is drying, I want to check the fluids. The tray under the fuel filter is still dry. It's a bit low, but the oil doesn't look too bad. I will leave it for now. It's impossible to reach the dipstick for the hydraulic oil with all these covers in the way. It looks a bit greasy. I want to clean this up before I open anything, so it doesn't get into the oil. I bought a new tread set today that me and my son are exploring. It's a bit low. I don't know if this fill plug is for the gearbox oil or the hydraulic oil or both. This tractor has an oil bath filter. This is something that I should have checked a long time ago, but as with many other things, I just didn't have the time. Looks like this was fastened by putting a screw through the oil pan. 
Now that seems like a really good idea. This looks really bad. It has definitely been water in here. For some extra weight, I'm going to put back the brackets from the front loader that we painted during the winter. Of course the bolts that I bought for this does not fit. They don't have the same tread grades. It's a good thing then that we bought this set, as I will need to brush up the old bolts. It's a new morning and I have been wondering what to do about this air filter. I don't have a replacement and those are quite expensive, so I will try to fix this. I had to take the lights off as the loader brackets are in the way. I'm going to rewire this to a new location later when I have more time. The tractor has more weights in the front now and we can add more on the tray if needed. I will leave this for now and get back to the barn. Thank you. 
Plants you see are stinging nettles and they made this job really unpleasant. This was really unexpected. I thought for sure that they had disconnected the water before they deliberately burned down the barn. I am happy that they didn't, but I'm questioning that decision. After a quick trip to the local hardware shop and roaming around in the basement, I found enough parts to get a valve on this pipe before we drained our entire well.
I was hoping to find a concrete floor on the other side of the barn, but so far I haven't found one. I am a bit curious to see if I can find any trace in the doorway between the two halves. It looks like the concrete stops here, and the other part was supposed to have stone slabs. Today I'm going to take a break from the barn due to the weather. The farmer dropped off our new equipment yesterday with his tractor, so we did not need to unload it with a digger. We are going to use it in our next video, so if you want to figure out what that is, you will have to watch that. I just couldn't bear the thought of leaving the air filter in the condition, so even though it is expensive, I have bought a new one. While I was working on the tractor, a friend came by with a new ram for us. He felt so bad for us after we have used all that money on a ram that died the next day, that he gave us a ram lamb for free.
He also filled up his car and hangar with garbage to drop off at the recycling center on the way home. Now that is a good friend. My son has named the new ram Knut. He's a little bit shy. Back to the tractor. I have also ordered the instruction manual for this tractor and it turns out that the gear and hydraulic use the same oil. They say to use motor oil but I only have fully synthetic oil and I don't want to use that on a tractor this age. So I'm going to top it off with hydraulic oil. And then some diesel and we should have control on all the fluids at last. I want to put a bell on a new ram so it will be easier to find him. I'm so worried that he will also get stuck in the electric net, so I'm checking on him often. This will make it a lot easier to find him. There is a giant pile of stones here in the barn. It doesn't look like they are part of the wall and they are in the way. And that's it, we are finally done cleaning out this barn.
And if you haven't figured out what a big project is yet, I will let you know right now. We are finally going to rebuild this barn. We have found a contractor that used an old Norwegian building technique called Grindabygg. That is the style that the barn originally was built in. We have signed a contract, contacted the local government and made arrangements with the bank. This is happening. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. It's completely free. And if you want to see another of our videos, take a look at this one next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.